Hello there YouTube fans, here again And I figure why not this film, it's been protested by one of my subs They've asked about it, so I figure without ado why not talk about it I remember watching it years and years ago I remember watching it once on the Dollar Channel And so on, that being the original, the classic The Stepfather, say it again, The Stepfather Shot in 1987, we're going to go with The Stepfather It's a good film it's more of a thriller, more of a, I won't say murder mystery because we already know the murder it is, but I say it's more of a, a thriller. Um, I know they made three, never really needed a utility, but this one, I actually like this one. I like it. There's a few falls here and there, but before I get boo-hoos, I actually like this film. I can see why it became a troll film, and like I say, it made two more sequels, and sadly to say, we had a shitty remake. But the original one, I have no faults with it. So let's get on with the movie. So you get on with this guy saving a beard and so on, and you see all these bodies. If you go, whoa, what the fuck's going on here? And actually, you don't see the murders, but you've got the idea the family's been murdered, and as the film goes on, and as the name is called, The Stepfather, you've got the idea he's the one that's done the murders. So I don't like this. I felt it was different, it was unique. The idea that the serial killer is actually a man who wants to settle down, have a family and become a stepfather. So you've got the you've got ideas for the months after, these cops have this guy who's killing families. And he goes, that's it, the stepfather. So he's teamed up with this other woman, he's got a daughter, you've got ideas he's a single mum with a daughter, daughter's got certain issues and he stepped in. And he's going to marry her, and he's going to become the new stepfather. And the funny thing is, he's got a sapphead like me. That's just been in like a few movies. A bit like he was in Brian Furrer. Uh, he was in the original Londons. And a bit like he appeared in Stepfather 2 as well. He's been in a number of films. But you've got the idea he's wearing a wig, and he's trying to make himself look longer than what he is. And at first, because he's generally a nice guy, he's helping the daughter, he's got problems and so on, but we all know he isn't. He's a psychopath. There's only a bit of fall, a bit of issue, I'll get it right, Ben said, a bit of issue is you've got one die in it, right? And you've got the idea he's the son of one of the families who he's murdered, and he's going after him for revenge. But I never think that led anywhere, and I'll get to that when it gets near at the end of my review. Might never got anywhere. So, as the film goes on, he's a bit where he's wrapping it on to himself, he's hitting this fucking board, you've got an idea he's got a bad temper, and you've got this satiety, who's helping the dirt out, and he's sort of taxing on who this man is. So the stepfather comes in, he bashes him to death with a piece of wood, I mean it was that a bit vicious and bloodthirsty, but it doesn't hold back in that sense, so he batters his poor guy to death. And he makes it look like he's died in a car accident. But I don't lie, I think about it, he makes it look like he's been murdered and someone's broken and murdered him. And we all know that it was the way round. As the film goes on, this tiss and this turns here and there. And the daughter taxes on that he's not who he's supposed to be. And then as the film goes on, the wife taxes on that he's not who he's supposed to be. And I've got to admit, I've got to admit, this type of fish is seen in this film. This type of fish is seen in this film. And what I mean by fish is seen is a bit where he's pretending to be on the phone, and the wife curls up to him and says, What do you mean, Hunter? Whack! He fucking whacks her on the face with a, with a telephone. These are the old telephones. And anyone remembers the old telephones with a big plastic dock off piece on it? You can imagine how that's going to feel. So he literally whacks her across the face. <coughs> Then he gets a knock on the door. This is the bit where I would say he never led anywhere. What do you mean might never led anywhere? Because the son of this family he's going after, right? He knocks on. He's there now. He confronts the man himself. He has a knife. He gets stabbed. The lad, that is. And he falls down brown bread. So all this chat and mouse, him trying to find the stepfather. There was no trust. This. There was no fight there's no fucking he's the hero because you think he's going to be the hero of the film he's here to save the day never legged anywhere never fucking legged anywhere because he gets stabbed brown bed that's it so then he's going after the daughter right and there's a bit in the movie where they make a tea house you know luffy duffy you got a bit of sloppy music so he's trying to get it in this tea house right 
and she falls something at him and if you rightly she stabs him there in the chest he falls down and you assume he's fucking dead to tell us that's not the taste because you know think right the 89 99 and they made step far for two with the same actor but you know money talks decided to make a sequel but how i looked at it is he was fucking dead right he got stabbed round bed but they made a sequel he wasn't dead blah 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 so you got an idea it's a couple of months later the daughter cuts down that tea she's living with her mum there happy fucking ending into a couple of years later step by for two come out same actor Step by for three, for some reason, the actor wasn't wanted to be tied tasted because they only changed the actor. <coughs> and then a couple of years later, they made a shitty remake. But the original Step Far for, where can I go with it? It's a good film. It's psychological when it wants to be. It's suspenseful. It's one of these, right? This, that is why I got the Step Far for. If he doesn't like the way the daughter's acting or the son's acting, and he doesn't like the way the wife is acting, Maybe the wife's getting a bit annoying. Maybe the daughter's not doing what he wants. Maybe the son's pissing him off. He'll kill him. He'll kill him all. So just being a surprised human being and thinking, okay, it's not working out. Bye bye. So just walking out the door, he'll do them all in. He'll, mur he'll murder them all. That's what he do. He'll kill them all. And then he'll move on. That's what he does. That's why the movie's called The Step Far For. That's why I like that. It was a different norm than what you normally see. I mean, normally in these type of movies, it's a serial killer, he's killing women, he's a sexual predator, he's killing women by telephone and so on. But in this, I liked it. I thought it was a different norm. It was a different norm, the fact that it was a man down the Seckle Town, down another fan there, whether it's a son, whether it's a daughter, whether it's a wife, whatever. I like the idea that if it doesn't work out, instead of moving out like a civilised human being, he just does with me and moves on. And I like the idea in the movie, there's bits here, there's twists and turns. <coughs> then he doesn't fuck about in some of the fire, it's like I say, he beats his poor dad to death with a piece of wood. Then he doesn't fuck about in the fire, it's when he whacks his fucking wife with a telephone. Then he doesn't fuck around in that apartment. You've got the idea this guy's got a bad temper, he's someone you don't want to fuck with in the film and that's what I like about the step far for it's like I say it was a popular film back in that era 1987 and you know it was dosing they made a few sequels sort of repeat myself <laughs> and it was not a bad film actually for what it were I didn't think it was bad they're the bit where the lads going after him um I didn't really think that went anywhere because like I say he knocks on the door He's about to defunt him. He gets stabbed. He gets killed. That's his fucking story. That is his story. It's more that the daughter's story. And more uh, trying to get to death of this man. He's stepped into her life. He's going to be the next step far for. Just to find that really he's a psychopath. And you find that out in the film. That he's a psychopath. But for what it is. I think it was a good hour of my time. I mean it's a good filler. It's a good performance by the actor. As the step far for. And it's definitely a good film in that sense. It definitely doesn't hold any punches. It's fine when it wants to be. It's disturbing when it wants to be. And it's just psychological filler. And when you think about it, this made a lot of other sort of movies very similar to that realm, that realm I should say. Because a lot of films before that, it's like I said, in them type of films, it's after a sexual predator preying on women. It's a guy killing women. It's a guy using a telephone. This one, I like the idea that it was something different. It made it a bit, I love the word saying it, unique. It made it unique, but that's a step far for. I'd give it a five-star rating. Not that fire, even though I find bits in it. It's not as gruesome as probably the other step far for films, but it's a good psychological filler. I'd say it's a good psychological filler. But I did it again. I'd give it a five-star rating. But into them, be smart, be safe. See you later.